What's up guys, David are one, two and two, and it's Banlist Discussion Day. I know I'm I, I'm not doing my normal format in front of the green screen, but I just spent two hours getting home in traffic because of a bad accident on the Grand Central Parkway, so I'm exhausted. I don't really feel like uh, uh, doing all that nonsense, but um, uh, this is actually going to be a short video anyway because not much exactly changed on this ban list. Um, I do... Hi, 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 Marty. Ow! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I did, what was I saying? Right, so, um, there's not a lot exactly to talk about. Uh, I do know what is on this list anyway. I did look at it earlier. Uh, so this isn't a live reaction. I never want to do those because I feel like if you do those, a lot of times you just spend the whole time, uh, speaking in hyperbole and there's not necessarily any, any, uh, constructive response because a lot of times it's a lot of knee-jerk stuff. And I try to avoid that because, uh, I don't know. Also, they always come out with an M at work anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Even if I'd want to do one, I couldn't. <laughs> so, uh, basically, long story short, uh, not much was changed except that, that anyone that anyone would care about is this little guy right here. Firewall Dragon is 2-0. I can't believe they did it. I spent the last two videos trying to justify a reason why Konami, at least, would feel why they can't do this, uh, because, again, uh, I feel that Firewall Dragon was was really the face of the Link summoning mechanic and was really pushing the mechanic, and therefore, at least in some tertiary uh, uh, way, he's actually moving like sales forward. I thought that just from a marketing standpoint, they could never ban this card, but apparently, just everyone and their mother is complaining about the damn thing. Somebody finally heard it. That, or it was on my live stream, and I was calling out Jerome for. <laughs> <laughs> he must have tuned in, and I was, I was all like, do it, you won't, and he's like, Shh, I'm Jerome, I ain't a bitch, I'll ban that shit, watch me, so he finally did it, so, <laughs> so, uh, I think this is actually extremely, uh, good for the game, obviously, uh, as much as I like Firewall Dragon for Link Spam combos and things, the fact that he, uh, was, you can just summon anything from your hand, not just like monsters that were used for link summoning, like to replace them or something like that. It means that you can just do stupid stuff with them. I, just, I get what they're coming from with with him, and I think he was the right card to print. I just think they may or may not have, uh, mostly may have just. They got a little too cheesy with his effect. I think if I think it, giving him some time on the ban list, let him think about what he's done, and maybe we can get an errata, and they can fix him and when when it's time, and that would actually be good because. He should exist, we just need to fix something about it. Whoop. Then the other changes were, uh, were, were, were pretty, pretty, uh, obvious. This is actually something I kind of touched on, but I wasn't exactly positive they would do it or not. Uh, Armageddon Knight went to one, which is really good, because normal summon or a special summon of matter is mill a dark out of your deck. That's just really good, because dark types, you know, these guys have a lot of great targets for them. But obviously the target that anyone would be using for Link Spam would be the card that got put to two, Destiny Hero Malicious. Yeah, Malicious banish one from your grave, summon another one, banish it from your grave, summon another one. What makes Link summoning such a problem for things like Malicious or Level Eater is because you don't need to do anything for it. It's too, it's too free. Like. For instance, Xe summoning, you know, you get two resources on the board, turns into one monster, and if you want to get that crap in the graveyard, that Xe monster has effect. You better be able to detach from him in order to do something. He needs some sort of benign or like ignition effect for you to actually get that malicious into the grave to use another one. Like if if it's like uh, I don't know, uh, can't think of a, of a rank six right now that wouldn't be able to just activate its effect because. I don't know the rank six pool that much off the top of my head, but let's let's say Beatrice wasn't uh, a quick effect, and you can only use him like the you can only use her the turn after you summon her, like like you can if you use a burning vest, <laughs> something like that, like a monster like that where you have to wait to use its effect. The the malicious is stuck, and not every XC monster just immediately dumps its material to the grave. So in some way, it's a little balanced to have such a recursive monster because you still have to work for it to get those stuff out from under the XC monster. And then for summon or for synchro summoning, you need a tuner. So in, in synchro summoning, is the least generic of all of our special summoning conditions. It's the hardest to do because you need the the tuner and the non-tuner's levels need to line up with something that's actually in your extra deck. Obviously, if you're playing malicious, you probably like playing Blake Spreader, playing old school synchro zombies. There's something in there for your extra deck obviously and then you keep going 
Um, long story short, the problem with malicious is links are too generic. They don't require enough. There's there's not enough restrictions on the monsters that can be made. So it's really easy to just keep putting maliciouses in the grave and keep summoning the next copy from the deck. That's it's too cheesy. It's it's a shame. This is like level leader. <sighs> It's too easy to get monsters in the grave with Lake Monsters, so we can't have nice things like Malicious. It's a shame because he's such an old school cool card, but I to I completely agree with this. This was, he was, if he wasn't a problem now, which which he was, a Dark World deck or Dark Warrior FTK deck is it's stupid, <laughs> and the Gumblar is is stupid. But even if you could make some sort of justification for that not being a problem right now, it would be later. It could only get worse, so it totally makes sense. And then we did have some unlimits, which is cool. Uh, it looks like they just fixed a lot of the problems that people really disliked last list. Last list, they're all like, why did you hit my, why did you hit my assault core uh, for firewall sins? So they're like, yeah, fine, whatever. You can have it back because obviously if firewall is gone, we don't have to worry about the cannon soldier loop. So there, there you go. That's, that's totally fair. And I have to give it to the ABC players. You guys did lose a card for essentially no good reason. Like, it, it, that wasn't even the right card to hit if that's what you were... Okay. And then we got our Dark Destroyer back to three. That's really cool. I don't think it's going to do much. Uh, I tried my very darndest to make Cosmos good this format. They're okay. Uh, they're... Their Sky Striker matchup's kind of okay because that deck does a lot of targeting. Like, you know, Widow Waker can't really do anything. Or anything so, uh, okay. And having three is just more consistency for the deck. That's all right, but uh, it's not really what it needs. It doesn't need more ships. We have plenty of ships. Uh, if anything, we need like we need like e tally or something. Like we need more ways to get to pilots that like for free because you need to get like two pilots on board for that deck to really do anything. Otherwise, it's normal tin can pass, and that's just not a very good opening. You can either try to slow your opponent down with artifacts to like you know make their deck as clumsy as yours or uh put in like diagram or fire king island and i don't know just it's a lot of life points to blow and and for a weird inconsistent deck and then it's like you know you're just gonna get losing time so i don't know so i don't think it's gonna do anything uh, i'd love it to because cosmos is one of my favorite decks but they need e telly e telly is really what the deck needs and then the last one we hear we have called by the grave this is just another one of those fixes from last list it's just a total mistake I don't know what they were doing with two called by the grave. I guess they were trying to. I guess they're trying to hit Goki some way because they're like, well, Goki doesn't run a ton of hand traps, so it only runs called by the grave to stop its opponent's hand traps. So if we hit called by the grave, it is less likely to open the counter to its counter. So I guess I don't know. That was stupid though because called by the grave is such a useful, fantastic, good tool tech card. So doing an extremely minor hit to a deck that's already really good uh as like a consistency uh, where's the camera consistency play i don't know it just seems really stupid uh again i just think you know this is just they're just fixing the last this is literally a fix list it's barely a ban list nothing has even happened and because it was so short uh i'm going to append mail day we actually i actually got a letter today uh as well, actually no we're gonna open this one last because it's new we're gonna go in order in which i received them uh, I believe this was first. If you guys want to get in on mail day, I try to do these every Friday where I actually have it. So, uh, and I think, I think if you guys like don't send me one, I don't do a mail day and then people don't know I have a mail day. So it's like, if I don't get it, you guys don't know it. And then you guys don't know it. So you don't send it. So I still don't get it. And it just, it, it just kills it. So, uh, Send, send me mail if you guys like this segment. Anyway, this is from Predator Magnus. You guys know him. Uh, he's, he's, one, <laughs> he's, he's one of the uh, personalities on my Discord and part of the Court of Davenator. Dear Davenator1202, thank you for all the content that you produce, or in this case, the lack thereof content. Thank you, you jerk. <laughs> I just, uh, uh, I jest. I am sending you some cards as bait. Please send me any cards re retaining for the supreme, what? Retaining for the supreme king of Armageddon. What are you talking about? Any, uh, again, thank you for everything. 
with moist regards, Predator Magnus. Congrats to Ryan for becoming a father? I think this was because he was under the impression that Ryan wasn't already, or he was, and he was confused. Ryan's got a second little boy now, so there, there he's, he's a father of two. Uh, I have a surprise for you coming this Christmas. Uh, oh, okay, that's fun. Uh, send me a shirt, you racist. Uh, okay. Uh, see... Words mean nothing anymore. I know it, it was, uh, he just keeps going like this. Uh, and then he told me to put a rubber band on my penis. I don't know why I get fan letters from you guys. He sent me this. He wants cards in return. I'm just going to sign these and send them back. I'm just, just, just screw them. We got, uh, Trump wall, lol, uh, white moray, and vision hero adoration. So... Thanks, Predator, for for the Trump wall. That was that was funny. Next up, I just like everyone just like clicked off this video as soon as I started doing this. Ooh, look, wax seal, schmancy. Uh, ooh, uh, po Oh man, why would you do it on the letter? I ripped it. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I, I actually. Oh my god, it ripped the actual name. Who is this? Kenny. We'll call him Kenny. Uh, sorry it took long to write again, but I really wanted to make sure that I hadn't lost all of my OG Yugi mans. I know they're in rough shape, but eight-year-old Kenny wasn't much interested in resale value. Hopefully you'll find some I find them as cool as I did when I first opened them back in 98. Also, I included this great, the greatest trap card ever printed. Enjoy Kenny. Enjoy Kenny. Ooh. Also, I don't think you opened these in 98. I think you opened these in like 2001. Because I don't think the game was out in America in, in t but whatever. Oh, shnikes. Maybe you did open these in, holy. Oh. It's just three strikes barrier and uh, guiding whatever, guiding light. <laughs> I have no idea why he sent me these two. No, what I'm actually, what he actually sent was Bandai cards. Holy sh, they even got like the manga back on them. The red, this, these, these are nuts. Okay, we got, I'm assuming it's Larva Moth. Uh, it could be, no, I guess it's, it's, it's green, so it's Larva Moth. Uh, Oh boy, Soggy the Dark Clown, maybe? Uh, oh look, Rogue Doll. This is like Dragon Capture Jar if it was a monster. Some Witch Lady, Great Moth. Oh, you know what? That's funny, I actually have a Great Moth, uh, like, fake card that has this artwork on it, and it always was weird. I was like, why does this bootleg card have the wrong artwork? Like, this looks like a Great Moth. I know what monster it is. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's Great Moth. It's got the stats. Can't tell if it's an effect or not. But uh, the artwork just wasn't quite right. The artwork looked bootleg like the card. So I was like, where did this come from? It must. It came from the Bandai artwork. That's that's neat. And then we got Basic Insect. Not looking so looking kind of wonky. Not so basic. Uh, was this Mega Zowler? Oh man, these are cool. I don't know how focused these are because my webcam freaking sucks. And Wing Guardian uh, of the Fortress or whatever. The hell, Wing Dragon Guardian, that's what it's called. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Uh, the blue one, not the red one. The red one's a wing beast, I think. So these are really cool, thank you. They are a little beat up, but band are these real Bandai cards? These must be. I can't tell. Bandai 1999 made in Japan. Yes, they are. So you must have bought these in 90, or 99, I guess, right? Because you said 98. These are 99. You must have bought these extremely early before everyone else was either playing Yu-Gi-Oh's or what. Wing Guardian's in pretty good shape. These feel cheap, too. I can see, like, why, uh, people, these are, like, they're, like, they're on, like, baseball card stock. That's super weird. But anyway, awesome, thank you. And last but not least, the one I got today that inspired this to actually be a thing. What is this? He wrote it on an envelope. Dearest Dave, please give my nimble beaver the ultimate pound if I am over in ever in New York. <laughs> uh, I have also enclosed two premium... Why'd you write in cursive, buddy? Premium something papers so that you can 
smoke the competition at your next event. Oh god. Uh, there is also no name. Looks like Dingle Doop Mick Cutting. Huh? It's a fake name. It's gotta be a fake name. Anyway. Yeah. Oh! It was rolling papers. Like, for like a joint. To smoke your competition. I get it. I actually, I've never rolled a, a cigarette before. Um, and I got a... Ah! Nimble Beaver and Ultimate Pound. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Jokes. Why am I, I'm looking at the recording, I'm not looking at you guys, I have no idea why. Anyway guys, that was Mail Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and the finalist discussion before this. Uh, if you guys would like to join in Mail Day, I would love for you guys to, because it's basically a free video for me. It's like, I don't have to think of content on a Friday, because I'm like, I'm so wiped from the week anyway. <laughs> so, plus, I like hearing from you guys. It's, it's nice to get something personal. It, it actually really kind of, it, it keeps me going, if you know. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Remember, guys, if you don't troll the matter who will, I will see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my totally rad dueling. Watching more of these videos is almost as fine as Taya's ass? What? I'm not saying that. Fine. Then it's time to duel.